Hey there, it's Heather Morano, the Mary Spencer here for Aramid Herbals, and today we're going to talk about bug repellent. Summertime is coming, and that means bugs, mosquitoes specifically, but things like noceums, that's what we used to call them in the South when I was growing up, uh, uh, biting gnats, other kinds of insects that are just annoying and get, in, and get in your way and cause mayhem and make things not so much fun to be outside. Um, so yeah, you can use a DEET product, uh, but it, most of us know that that's a really highly concentrated chemical and although it's very effective, uh, many of us are not happy having that on our clothing or on our skin. So I'm going to give you some options today um, for essential oils that you can put together in a blend, either um, a little group of them or all of them together uh, with just some water and uh, they do a great job of chasing the insects away. The insects can't stand these oils and so it makes them uh, run and hide. So the first oil I'm going to talk about is patchouli and let's see if I can find my bottle here. Here we go. Patchouli. Everybody kind of knows this is like the hippie scent. Um, <laughs> this is a very radiant and woody um, and sensual and, and, um, and sweet scent um, but it's also very cooling and skin healing and it has antibacterial, antimicrobial properties. So this is a great one for um, bug repellent. The next one I wanna talk about is spikenard. Spikenard is also an earthy and sweet and warm kind of scent. It calms the heart. It um, also is anti-inflammatory, so it's really nice for soothing irritated skin. We also have opoponax, which is also an exotic kind of balsamic uh, woody scent and it's very grounding and it also sedates and restores uh, the mind and the spirit and um, these scents together kind of all all kind of have a similar earthy woody scent so they're really nice in a blend. Um, another really important one this one's excellent for uh, bug repellent in fact if this is the only one you want to use you can this one's cedarwood um, it is um, Juniperus virginiana. It is also balsamic. It's kind of woody, a little bit sweet. I love the smell of cedarwood, but it's a very good insecticide. So it's um, great in a blend with these other um, oils, but it's also really good just by itself as a good bug, bug repellent. And finally, eucalyptus citriodora. So um, a couple different kinds of eucalyptus. This specific one has a bit of a citrus scent, and it's also really good at repelling insects. So um, I'll post the, uh, the number of drops for each of these oils for this specific blend um, on the blog underneath this video. But uh, just so you know, it's really easy to make. Here's our little two ounce bottle. It comes with a spray pump, so it makes it easy to apply. And this blend is safe to use on your skin. So it's totally okay. You can put it on your clothes, you can put it on your skin, it's fine. Um, just take some regular tap water. It doesn't have to be anything special. Um, we're going to fill this almost to the top. This is a two ounce bottle, so I'm going to put, you know, nearly to the top because we're going to add our oils as well. And then the first oil we're going to put in to this blend is patchouli. i got to find the bottle again. Here we are. So four drops of patchouli. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next one is cedarwood. We're gonna do five drops of cedarwood. This is the most um, drops of an oil we're gonna use in this blend. And like I said, it is a um, it is a insecticide, so it's great to have in here. One, two, three, four, five. The next one is eucalyptus citridora, and I have to use a special dropper for this bottle since it does not have a, um, a regulator at the top. So I'm going to use three, one, two, three, and we're going to finish up with the last two, Apopanax. There's going to be four drops of Apopanax in this. This is a pretty resinous um, oil. One, two, three, four, and our final one is Spikenard. And we're only going to use two drops of this. It's, it's a kind of a bluish green color. One, two, and it's really pretty thick. Okay, so now we've got all the oils in there. We're gonna put our lid on, shake it up. And every time you use this, you're probably gonna to wanna to shake it up to kind of redistribute the oils. Remember, oil and water don't mix, so they will separate. 
Um, all you had to do is just shake it up in order to use it again. Okay, so now you have your bug repellent with, again, we have a Poponax, patchouli, spikenard, cedarwood, and eucalyptus citriodora. I will put this um, uh, recipe below the video on this blog, and all you got to do is shake it up, spray it on, actually smells really good, and then uh, the bugs will stay away. Now, just in case you have super, super sweet skin and the bugs actually are going to want to come get you through this, uh, this arsenal here, uh, next time, join me and I'm going to make an itch stick. So basically, a lotion stick, very similar to this, um, that you can lit literally rub on the bug-bitten skin and it will help with the healing, with the itching, etc. So come back and join us next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Heather Morano with Aramid Herbals, helping you get back to your roots. Have a great day.